Johnny Dice here, buddy of Plugin Deals, and today we're going to look at Sample X by Beat Skills. This is a cool little plugin that you can use to make your sound sound like they're playing off a vintage sampler or off the vintage computer chip. It's very ingenious and really easy to use. In the industry right now, a lot of people are making music at home from their bedrooms, and all the music sounds a little bit too clean, a little bit too sterile, it lacks character and personality, and nobody can really afford to go out and buy these expensive analog synths. So having a tool like this is really cool to take your sound and make it sound a little bit more um, analog or vintage and a really easy to use way. So in this video, I'm going to take a track that I made that sounds a little bit too lifeless to me, and we're going to use Sample X to give it a bit more of a energy and a bit more personality, and hopefully to make it sound a little bit like a lo-fi hip-hop track. So let's do it. Hey guys, so I've got a scenario here where I think we can definitely use Sample X. So let's just check out this beat that I made a bit earlier. So I like that beat, but I do feel like it's missing something. It's missing that extra soul, that extra energy that you'd get from those old sample records. So what I want to do is take this beat and transform it into a lo-fi hip-hop track, and uh, hopefully Sample X can do the job. So let's check it out. I'm going to start with the drums so I can explain some of the features. So I've got these on solo, and here we go. So this is Sample X. It looks very simple because it is. Let's unbypass this now. So on the left here, we have the bits where we can uh, totally bit crunch the sound. Let's try that out now. So we've got like an 8-bit thing going now. I'm going to bring that back up to 12. And now we're going to look at uh, the sample rate. We can bring that down. I like that, and that goes all the way down to 2,000. That's pretty crazy, I like that. And then you might be thinking, I already have a bit cruncher, I already have a sample reducer, what can this thing do that I can't do already? Well, that's where this shift comes in, because that really has some really cool effect where it can give you the aliasing and the artifacts of those original samplers that everyone's trying to get. So let's check out this shift feature. That's quite cool. So you could definitely use that to give yourself a bit of character. And last but not least, there's this beautiful drive option here where you can emulate what you used to be able to do in the samplers where you overload the drive to get these really powerful overdriven sounds. So let's try that out. I like this. I'm gonna put the shift up to me around here. And I think this, let's lower the sample rate all the way. Maybe 4,000 I think is good. So you could actually type in the value up here if you want it to be precise, which is always good. And then down here we have a filter. This filter is an awesome, very smooth sounding uh, 24 dB slope. Let's check it out. So I quite like that because it's taking away some of that um, the more harsher sounds that are being brought up by the by the sample reduction. So let's just hear before and after again. And move it again. I really like that. Let's see what we can do to the piano. So the piano is a really clean sounding piano here and I kind of feel a bit guilty but we're going to try and change this into a really lo-fi uh, piano sound that you'd hear on an old hip-hop track. So let's turn that on. I'm going to put the bits up to 24. I like, it kind of gives like a rainy sound. That's quite cool. The shift, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one up to, that sounds good to me. And I've gotta use this filter. I quite like that. 
some resonance in there. Let's put that around here. And I'm gonna turn on the drive, because I do like that overdriven sound. All right, now let's hear the old one and see what it sounds like. Okay, and then the new one. I think that's definitely a cool aesthetic choice. Let's go for the last one, the sub bass. So for this one, it's kind of... So I got a very basic uh, bass here. So I'm hoping to give it a little bit more excitement with this beat skills. So at the moment it's got very little high end because it's a, it's a bass instrument. So one of the cool things about these uh, sample crushes is you can actually add a bit of high end so we'll cut through on those smaller speakers. So let's uh, let's just bring down the bit rate to seven. This sounds pretty nasty. I like it though. This, let's bring the sample rate all the way down. This is sounding disturbing. I like it. And then maybe the shift. That seems to be tickling my ears in a good way. And then I'm gonna fit the drive. Let's just max it out. So I don't think that's gonna work with our track, but fortunately there is a dry wet knob here as well. So what we can do is we can just have the original and then mix in a little bit of this. What I like about this, I'm just gonna put an EQ here so you can see. Um, if I turn this off, that's our original sound, and it's a little bit boring. I bring in the sample X, got all of this uh, new frequency content. I think it's pretty good. So what I want to do now is play the whole loop with all sample Xs on and see if it's better than it was before. Pretty satisfied that we took what was kind of a lifeless beat before and we made it a bit more unique and uh, authentic with this sample X. If you guys like what you saw today and you want to get a copy, just head over to Audio Plugin Deals and you should be able to get a nice rate on this. If you guys enjoyed this video at all, please hit subscribe and like and I hope to see you guys in the next one.